Hi Shark Tank team. My name is Chantel Calloway. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm a full-time founder, advocate for literacy, and inventor working on making Rhyme Antics the hilarious rhyming vocabulary game, the number one game in the world. Rhyme Antics is a patent pending vocabulary game inspired by hip hop for ages 12 and up. We use difficulty levels of rhyming vocabulary words combined with the music app to give players a fully engaged experience. Rhyme Antics promotes literacy while paying homage to the roots of hip hop artistry. Rhyme Antics just made black history by becoming the first black owned game to be sold in Target and Walmart. And we are in over 700 stores between big box and smaller retailers. We are seeking $250,000 in exchange for 10% of our business. And these funds will be allocated to a marketing budget, developing future additions, developing the app out into a full social gaming app, and hiring talent. Rhyme Antics is a powerful game that has had a lot of success because of its unique gameplay methodology and its ability to function as an adult party game, a family game, and a classroom game for educators. Our product is used by thousands of teachers as a vocabulary and EAL learning tool, especially during this terrible pandemic. Rhyme Antics ignites love for learning and keeps kids fully engaged during virtual and in the classroom lessons. More exciting is that it was just announced a couple of days ago that Rhyme Antics is the 2021 award winner of the PAL award. And this award is a very prestigious award that recognizes exceptional toys and games that encourage language and creativity. Um, as an advocate for literacy, um, you know, I'm on a mission to use the power of rhyme antics in the hip hop culture to impact the literacy crisis that is growing and to promote reading culture in my community. Uh, rhyme antics is a brain training game for the inner rapper in all of us, where players have to freestyle rap in proper English. And so here's how you play. Two teams battle. There are three levels of difficulty, easy, intermediate, intellectual. This is the inside of the game. There's a mic prop that the team plays. So two teams battle. Um, there's a blown up version of the card. Uh, the team chooses difficulty level. The uh, rhyme referee will read a card at random and you'll get a card like this don't push your luck the team has 60 seconds for each person to quickly freestyle a verse and the last word of your verse has to rhyme with the underlying word on this card so it's a rap cipher game but you're rapping in proper english that's the catch right so it's really fun but it's very educational too tapping into all those cognitive skills your fluid intelligence your language your focus your speed um and it really gets you creative thinking learning it's so fun and you're, you automatically laugh so don't push your luck what would you say uh don't say it because i know it's a swear word but listen there's a whole bunch of other words that rhyme with luck so if i was on your team i might kick it off and say um i'm going on shark take to make a quick buck um you quack like a duck um you have feathers i need to pluck and so on and so on um i can't think of anything i'm feeling stuck right and so it's a rhyme game and a rap game but it's really a literacy game because it's you know tapping into all your vocabulary index and so these are all the words on the back of the card the team was trying to guess and they would get points for you get bonus word uh you get bonus points for more difficult words and then in some cases there'll be homophones and if you use homophones in the correct context you'll get bonus points too so super fun dope rap game really um, so as you can see, it's really fun and educational. It's for kids, grown-ups, grandparents, teachers, geeks, and gangsters. Everybody loves this game. I bootstrapped this business and worked really hard to get into big box retailers all on my own, which really speaks to my resilience as an entrepreneur, and I am extremely result-driven. Um, I've been operating on a shoestring budget um, to get Rymantics to the top. Uh, and Rhymances has been the number one test game item since launching in Target um, last summer. Um, some other key highlights to mention is that in 2019, we had 56K in revenue. And in 2020, we ended the year at 131K in revenue, which is over 100% growth. Um, and so far, 2020, this first, uh, 2021, this first quarter, we are up 900%. Um, 
in revenue. And so we are really growing regardless of our shoestring budget with you know minimal marketing plan, just based on word of mouth and people really loving this game. And so, you know, Family Game Night is an American tradition. Uh, the genesis of Rymantics was born from me and my family's need to uh, play a new game uh, idea during the holidays. My dad came up with this really fun call and response rap game, um, and we all loved playing it, but I knew we really had a great idea when the kids constantly requested to play it every year thereafter. Um, and so for seven years, the game sat in the family and we always wanted to play it. Um, and you know, as I started researching the game market and really paying attention to it, I realized that, you know, most games have been around for decades and new game ideas seem to lack creativity or mocked old ideas. Really, they weren't new and you know, hip hop has been named the number one music genre in the world. That's in the world. Hip hop is number one in the world for the past three years. And so I was really driven to create a game that added value to the culture and to my community. I spent the last 10 years investing every dollar I have um, on a mission to build Rymantics into an iconic brand. And my biggest challenge has been closing on a seed round of capital in effort to really take this business to the next level. Um, you know, we are not just a one product game. We have plans to launch future game editions, expansion packs this year, uh, a full app, uh, social gaming app version and an ed tech product. And so I really hope uh, that, you know, I've been trying to pitch. I've pitched a lot of investors. I started trying to raise money uh, two weeks before COVID hit. So as you can imagine, it's been a very grueling process. Um, I've got a lot of no's, but when Shark Tank called, I said, this might be my opportunity. So I'm praying it is, um, you know, Rymantics has a powerful value proposition. And, you know, I pray that I get the opportunity to pitch you in LA in person. And we work together to create a classic and iconic brand, um, all while impacting the world one word at a time. Thank you so much for watching my video. Peace.